Hola, bueno, este es el Ron. This is Aaron with Ana Computers from anacomputers.com. Another video, this one, I filed under PC hardware installation. This deals specifically with trying to use a camcorder as a webcam. Camcorder as webcam, how to use your camcorder as a webcam. Would you like to use your camcorder as a webcam? Yes, you can use your camcorder as a webcam with software like DV Driver. To use DV Driver, you just hook up your camcorder to your PC via a FireWire, also known as a IEEE 1394 cable first. Not all camcorders have a 1394 interface, so you have to become aware of that. If your camcorder does have a 1394 interface, that is preferential over USB, and I'll get to that a little bit later. Then you install DV driver software once that camcorder is hooked up with a FireWire cable. Once all that is completed, then you should be able to use programs like MSN Messenger, Yahoo Messenger, Skype, etc. that have an ability to use webcams with them. You can check to make sure that Windows installed a driver for your camcorder when you hook it up by going to Start, then Control Panel, then Device Manager. So Windows XP, click Start, Control Panel, Device Manager, Vista 7.8, a little bit different. Just go to your control panel and then go into Device Manager. In Device Manager, your camcorder should be listed somewhere under Cameras. If you do not have an IEEE 1394 FireWire port on your camcorder, then you can try to use a USB port if available. Not all camcorders have USB. So some have both. So if you don't have a 1394 FireWire port, then if your camcorder has a USB connection, you can use that as well to try to use it as a camcorder. If you hook up your camcorder to your PC using a USB port on your camera and with a USB cable to that USB connection on your computer, then Windows should automatically detect and install a USB camera driver. There might be some USB configured camcorders that might have to have drivers installed. It just depends on your model and your manufactured camcorder. Once that driver installs successfully, then no other software is required. Please test it out in Yahoo Messenger, Skype, or whatever program you would like to use. Video quality won't be as good as using a FireWire connection but you will be able to use your camcorder as a webcam. Basically, it boils down to bandwidth. FireWire is faster and allows more bandwidth versus USB, but I'm not sure about USB 3.0, but definitely USB 1 and USB 2. And then also, I was going to go over this software. I am an affiliate, and I do get commissions from Eagletron. And then as far as drivers, hopefully your, your camcorder will get recognized by Windows XP, Vista 7 or 8 or Mac or Linux or whatever computer you're using. If not, you might have to download a driver and that should be all you need. It should, you know, hopefully it'll work out of the box and Windows will have a driver for it. If it doesn't, Go out to the manufacturer of your camcorder or do some Google searches for the exact model. You might, you should just have to install a driver. You don't have to install a, a bunch of software if you don't want to. And then maybe your camcorder came with a CD-ROM with drivers on it. So let's get to the software that you will need. DV driver from Eagletron. And then this is their main page. We can scroll down here. And then in a description of this YouTube video, I will leave a link to my website, anutcomputers.com, with this exact URL to this blog post so that you can quickly read over this and or go to Eagletron's website to check out their software. And let's see, it should be right here. DV driver for Windows. I'll go over quickly kind of what it supports. Minimum system requirements. Windows 2000, XP, Vista, 7, 32-bit, and 64-bit. It doesn't look like they support Windows 8 yet. 
processor, anything from a Pentium all the way newer memory, 32 megs of RAM, interface, FireWire, an available FireWire port on your computer and on your camcorder. Please note that this connection sometimes uses different names. Officially, it is known as IEEE 1394. Sony calls it an iLink connector. That's your preferred connection. USB, you'd have to look into USB 3.0, whether it's similar or faster than IE 1394. Off the top of my head, I don't know. But definitely USB 2.0 and 1. won't, it's not as much bandwidth, it's not as fast. It's a, an inferior quality to connection for using camcorders as webcam or even real time. CD-ROM drive, blah, blah. I won't go anything over anything else, I, but I did want to detail what operating system is supported. I'm not aware that they have a Linux version. There, You can, it is possible to hook up a camcorder on a Linux machine and get it to work. But I, if whether or not it's going to work out of the box, not necessarily. Anyways, anything else I want to go over? I don't think so. So you can check out their software, and then I am an affiliate, so... And you can download their free trial right here. Free trial download. Give DV Driver a test bin by downloading a free trial version from our download page today. So anyways, I don't think I have anything else. Hopefully, this information provided some beneficial tips to get you able to get your camcorder on your computer so that you can use it as a webcam. Anyways, you can always browse to anetcomputers.com.